Hey you guys, welcome to this vlog. <laughs> I'm filming this in like a, this is a weird vlog for me, so I don't know when this is actually gonna go up. It depends when this is gonna get done. Project vlog. Um, okay, so just to start, you guys know I did not purchase a crib. I did so purposefully, and I said if I wanted a crib, I would buy one later. I bought a crib. <laughs> That's the premise of this video. Okay, so I still, I'm not gonna use a crib at night. I still don't do that. Like, I will still bed share. That is still how we parent. Um, I don't ever plan to use a crib at night, but if something comes up and changes, I don't know, maybe I'll let you guys know. I don't see that happening. Um, sorry, I've got my dishwasher running. But I have never had a baby in a house with this many levels before. Every single one of our houses has always been a... What are they called? Just like ranch one. style. Um, one. Bungalow. <laughs> there we go. One level. So every time my babies woke up from a nap, I was able to just put them in our bed or a bassinet. Well, Plagueis is a giant baby, and we'll be outgrowing the bassinet soon. And then I was like, okay, I can just put him in the bed, have the video baby monitor on him, and that's fine. Um, but I didn't really think that far ahead. During nap times, I've realized that during his nap times, I'm making bread and soon I'll be out in the garden. And if I'm covered in dirt or dough or whatever, and he wakes up and I see that on the baby monitor, that's great. But if I can't get to him before he can roll or crawl off the bed, um, I teach my babies how to dismount off furniture really, really early for safety reasons. Um, but still, I don't want him like, loosey goosing around upstairs in our bedroom while I'm in the middle of something. And I also don't want to put that pressure on my big kids by being like, somebody go get the baby. Like I don't, it's not their responsibility. So in comes a crib. Now with a crib, you guys know that I'm not, I don't like anything average. <laughs> um, so for this, this crib will just be for now. And probably for the first stretch of sleep where like I'm not in bed yet, I put him to bed at seven, I don't go to bed till 11. So he can go sleep in that, in that space until I go and get him and bring him to bed with me when I'm going to sleep. So those are the two reasons I really wanted this. So I looked at a lot of cribs, especially like when I was pregnant, when I was debating whether I wanted to buy a crib or not, I looked at a lot of cribs. I decided to get one off marketplace. I found an amazing deal, it was practically free. Um, it's a great crib. The shape is good, which is important to me, but my dream crib is not something that's manufactured and made. I wanted like, ideally like a yellow Jenny Lind crib. I love vintage like looking Jenny Lind cribs. I found one, I didn't get it. <sighs> I lost it and I regret it. But the other thing is I just wanted like a, I just, I like a very specific style of cribs. I think a lot of cribs are ugly. Um, I really hate high backs on cribs personally that turn into like double beds. I just don't think they look nice. I don't know, maybe they're just like overdone in my brain. But I wanted a yellow crib. I wanted a sunshine yellow crib. I want a pop of color. There are no sad beige babies in this house. <laughs> so when I saw this crib on Marketplace, I was like, okay, this is the crib I'm gonna get. I don't mind going, I wanted to go the marketplace route because I knew that I couldn't buy what I was looking for, so I would have to DIY it. And so there was no point in buying like a $300 crib if I was just gonna scuff the entire thing and paint it anyway. So I found a marketplace crib and it is brown as you can see, but the shape is good. It's got, its ends are slightly slayed, but it's mostly square. It's a Graco crib. Um, but my vision was I just wanted it square. So we're gonna be painting this crib bright sunshine yellow. I'm so excited. Um, I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to show you the painting process today. I'm just gonna start sanding and try and sand the entire crib down because um, we're gonna take this over to Cody's parents' house because they have a heated garage. Our garage is not heated. It is currently minus 36 degrees Celsius outside way too cold to paint out in the garage that's not heated um, and obviously painting in the house is not an option when we have kids and infants and a bird who with super sensitive respiratory systems um so we're going to take this crib over to his parents heated garage and spray paint it there and we're spray painting it i'm not painting it by hand um just because i want a really even coat and finish on it so 
we're gonna spray paint it and let it off gas in their warm garage and then we'll pick it back up. So you're gonna see me sand it and then by the time you guys see this baby again, it'll be yellow. So I'm really excited for that. But I figured I might as well make this a little project video because why not, it's fun. So I'll take you guys through sanding it. We'll pick it up, we'll build it. We will redo our little nursery nook in our bedroom and I'm excited to see how it turns out because I just wanted a yellow crib for so long. Also, let's just say nobody judged my um, amazing DIY skills. I'm not a DIY channel. Just saying. I'm not a DIY mom. I'm just a cool mom. Did you just snicker at me? No. Excuse you. I'm such a cool mom. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You're right. I'll have to try harder to be more cool. No, don't do that. <laughs> Just for you. You're right, Mackenzie. I could, I could work on that. Oh, no, you're cool guys it is a couple weeks later now last we left off I was sanding that crib and like I had said in the beginning of this video due to the cold weather we were sending it over to my father-in-law's house um, because he has a heated garage that he does projects in and so he we were gonna go paint it over at his um, in his garage because our garage is not heated and we didn't want to paint in the house obviously since we were spray painting and then he said ah don't worry about it let me <laughs> paint it for you and so it's a couple weeks later now and he painted the crib for us after I sanded it and we dropped it off so we just picked it up today it is all done being painted and I am so happy with the color I'm so excited to show you and now we're going to build, build it. it Cody's gonna build it um, but I'm gonna show you guys the color of it and you guys can watch us build this crib and I'm so excited because what do you mean, it is us? yeah it's Cody Cody's building um but it's <laughs> it's the perfect color and everything I hoped so um yeah I just wanted to let you know that it is a little bit later because you need to let spray paint like off gas and stuff so let's get started building the crib so this is the color it is so cheerful and happy and lovely it's perfect look how happy and cheerful it is sunshine yellow it matches the book right there Thank you. 
There you have it you guys this is our completed crib i'm so happy with how it turned out it is so cute it's the exact color i hoped it would be and i'm just super super happy with how it turned out like that was the best diy project um for such a cheap crib so now when you come into our room this room is huge so we have my office space and then the egg space nursery nook and then our bed and space. This needs to go back downstairs now. And then here's his um, little shelf. Normally the can's not up there, but whatever. It's all his diapers and toys and blankets. And then he has a dresser in the closet as well. What do you think? I always lay a blanket down because this is where I do his like tummy time and hangout time. Not really tummy time, but this is where we hang out and change bum. Yeah. Right? Get some good stretching and kicking in. Are you happy? Do you like your crib? So, like I said before, um, I'm so excited for this. Just, it's not going to be for nighttime. We still co-sleep and bed share, and we will continue to bed share. But when he is older, this is a great space for him for some of the night, um, but also for right now. It's perfect for me to put him in during his longer naps. He's starting to take longer stretches of naps and sleep during, like, the full duration of them now and so with garden season starting soon and um the fact that i'm schooling the kids and downstairs and we have a three level house for the first time um it's just a good safety idea to have a crib to put him in for naps and then for the first chunk of the night before i go to bed because he goes to bed at seven i don't go to bed till like 11. so that way i can sit and watch a show or maybe like take up my crochet projects on the bed i like to do those things in bed or like go through my cookbooks or my herbalism stuff and i like spreading everything all over the place and then when i go to bed i'll take him under the crib and bring him into our bed um, but I love it. I definitely wanted something that wasn't a beige, sad beige baby room. Um, something that just felt like me and us. And um, so I've got the vintage touches with all the crocheted like vintage <laughs> blankies and the chair that is absolutely a vintage score. And then the bright yellow crib. There's just like sweet little touches that really feel like us. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's eclectic and it's exactly the kind of style that we like. So... I am super happy with it. Anyway, you guys, that's our little DIY. I know you guys didn't see the painting happening because obviously my father-in-law was painting it, so, um, he, which was perfect because he had it like hung up in his garage so he could like spray it the right way. It was better that he did it than, than I did it for sure. <laughs> um, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Um, let me know if you are a color or like neutral nursery person i love a good neutral nursery like i i can appreciate that like my bed is all neutral like i love the wood but i just didn't want to carry that through the whole room so um i'm so happy with how this turned out let me know if you guys like really big pops of color if you would ever do something this bold this is i had like an inspo picture on pinterest and i was like one day i'm gonna have a yellow baby crib and then i went on the hunt and here we are so i hope you enjoyed this video of our little nursery makeover our little nursery nook makeover this is as close as we're ever gonna get to having a nursery having a nursery nook we would never like do a full room just because it doesn't work for their our style of parenting um, but I'm really happy with how this turned out and it can be converted to a toddler bed, which is really handy for when he's a little bit older. Yeah, I just really love it. So, um, if you have any questions about like the color or anything, I can let you know what color this was because it was, I wanted a very specific, I didn't want it to look like a school bus or a construction zone. It had to be like a softer sunshine yellow. And I think it turned out so perfectly to be that color. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in my next one. Bye guys!